Hello again. I uh, told you I was going to uh, be on a video bender here, so <laughs> here's another one. Um, I got, I have my uh, PWM with variable frequency hooked up to a uh, 12 volt battery. And then I have it hooked up, the output from the PWM to the primary of this microwave oven transformer. And I have too hard to see 47 picofarads whatever the smallest of the small um, farad prefix that whatever pico picofarads I think it is anyways and then on the uh, output of the secondary I have uh, the same value 47 picofarads and uh, my multimeter hooked up to it. So on the right is the AC output from the secondary and on the left is the uh, input to the primary from the PWM. Uh, so I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Same sort of thing as the um, uh, resonant inductance video that I made yesterday. So I'll turn her on and turn up the duty cycle and there's a sweet spot for the duty cycle. Went past it <laughs> a little bit. So it looks like that's going to be about max. So apparently I got uh, 1.2 volts on the input side of the primary and 45 on the output of the secondary. Now I'll crank the frequency up. I don't know if you can hear that. We're up in the upper frequencies now. There's a sweet spot there in the upper frequencies. There's another one uh, down further too that I passed. But anyways, when you hit it, it uh, it lowers the input voltage that I'm reading, which is now less than a volt, 0.79 volts. And the output on the secondary is 117. <coughs> and again, I'm kind of thinking of the Jewel Thief thing, but it's a different concept I'm trying to touch this neon to the outputs and hold the camera <laughs> where is it? Oh, now it's in my hand there we go. Lit up. Oh. Hang on. Okay. There we go. She's lit. Anyways, just wanted to show you that. That was a little difficult. More difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to handle that. Sorry about that. But anyways, it lit the neon. And uh, this is really cool. Like, so there's a sweet spot in the frequencies that it, it wants to resonate at. And it uh, kind of acts like a jewel thief 
but it's a different idea. It's the inductance and the resonance. But anyways, wanted to share that with you. Um, I played with my thing trying to figure out what the top and bottom end of the frequency range is. Um, I downloaded a oscilloscope and spectrum analyzer program. I already had the signal generator. Um, but it gave me a false reading. So then I kind of played it by ear with my signal generator and it was much lower, which closer to where I expected. But I still didn't trust, you know, obviously my ear because <laughs> I'm half deaf. But um, then I got my guitar tuner out and um, turned it on at its lowest frequency setting with a speaker hooked up to it. And uh, it registered an A sharp. And so I looked that up online and it said uh, 466 hertz thereabouts. So I'm thinking that my bottom end is somewhere near 466 hertz for anyone who's interested. <laughs> Anyways, wanted to share this with you again. Um, there's sweet spots with the frequency and the output and the input. The input goes down when it's in its sweet spot and the uh, secondary goes up dramatically. But anyways, till next time, take care.